Okay, so I've just literally finished reading the Wikipedia for R Rick at Ralph, uh, Rick, what Ralph breaks the internet and that. So anyway, I just watched the movie and then just briefly skimmed over the Wikipedia and that. And uh, yeah, anyway, so I've, I've watched the movie now. I had watched number one way back in 2012. I'd literally forgotten it, so I almost think I should have watched that one before watching this one. So anyway, I enjoyed the movie, as I do with virtually all movies in that. Now... I didn't actually enjoy it as much as Inside Out, Frozen, Frozen 2, or Zootopia and that, you know, but I mean, all of them are good movies in that, so, I don't know, I feel like it was partly as a result of, I don't know, it just, it didn't gel with me as much, like, as in, it's still an incredible movie, I couldn't create anything close, and interesting though, one of the, uh, Rick Moore, he also, he, he, like, co-directed, like, Rick, Rick, in a Rick, you know, this one, uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet, and a good old Zootopia now, I'm not sure he co-directed or directly directed that one, but yeah, I was like, ah, oh, wow, because it's the same one, so I mean, yeah, anyway, so it was, I, I, I thought it was a really good movie, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was, diff it was, yeah, because I hadn't, I had seen the first one in 2012, but basically forgotten it, and that, but yeah, one of the things I liked most about it was the, the portrayal of the internet. I thought it was so cool with how, like, they had the Google logo, you know, the Snapchat, you know, the Twitter and the tweets and, you know, the little birds. I thought that was so awesome. Like, the concept of that, I just thought it was so, so cool. That was like, let's go. Like, I thought that was, that was incredibly well done. That was super well done. That was, that was one of my, just like, that was one of my favorite bits, just how they portrayed the internet and that. And... Yeah, I, I don't know, I just, I think about all the stuff during the, the film, and then I just go to do a video on it, and it's like, oh, I've forgotten, like, most of what I was going to say. <laughs> but, yeah, it was, I thought that was, that was a real neat part. What else? What else? They, they, they only had one, one song. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right, when they did, oh, that's right, having all the, all the, all the cat, I thought it was, yeah, really clever how they incorporated it into their own films, so, you know, like, they had, like, Marvel and Star Wars and all that, they incorporated their own Disney films into that, including, like, the, you know, Star Wars with C-3PO, who was voiced by the actual C-3PO Anthony Daniels, and they had the, the Disney princesses, like, Elsa from Frozen and Snow White and all that, then get voiced by the actual people that did them, which I thought was, I thought, yeah, I thought it was really cool in that. I felt like, I feel like they could have done the the scene with incorporating the princesses in that and the C-3PO in that like a bit better, but I still thought it was a very clever idea, and I still think it was they they did it really well. The, I loved the the part where they had the whole concept of what was it Buzz Buzz video or whatnot. I think were, were they trying to replicate YouTube but couldn't use YouTube for copyright reasons or I'm not sure anyway yeah because I wonder how they got all those like Google logo and that in the thing without copyright because yeah yeah it's like okay but anyway so but yeah the, anyway and they had that thing and I thought it was super cool and clever the, the concept of like all the people and that like zoop zoop and you know with all the all the hearts and that is like and then it was because on YouTube you, you don't get paid for hearts, likes. You get paid for that would massively change stuff. It's more like the D Live system where you get lemons and that. So it's the currency's lemons, and people can like give lemons and that, and then you can convert the lemons for cash or whatnot. So yeah, there was there was I thought it was so cool, just like with the vacuum of that, and with all the likes and that, and all the people just walking and how they represented a person, and if the person and the thing went, then it sort of crashed it outside and that. So I thought that was. I thought that was that was really clever in that. Uh, yeah, I really liked that part. The yeah, and it was sort of it had like sort of almost like the uh, the sort of the equivalent in Zootopia, like in the as in like halfway through you're like, oh, it's almost over. They've found the animals and that, but then it was actually like, no, it's actually then like it's almost like you sort of think you're finished and then it goes on. And it was like this one is they're finally being able to buy it and then it goes on. So it was almost like a two part kind of thing in that. I, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, that was, I thought, you know, those were all many things I thought were good about it. I don't, I just, I just, it feels like I, I'm, I'm it's like me, it's like, because the, there's the, like, in the fact that I didn't enjoy it as much as I feel like I could have in that, like, I don't know, I feel bad even, like, just criticizing it, because I know how much work went into it, and how incredible it is, and how I could never create anything close to it, and that, you know? 
And, uh, I, I definitely do prefer to talk about the positive in that. But, yeah, in regards to the negative in that, I don't know. I didn't... I just... I didn't find, like, the... Sort of the... Like, you know, when there was the big Ralph and that. I don't know. I just... I didn't find that as engaging in that. I just thought it was like... Uh, I don't know. I thought it was clever then how they then were figured out, oh, talking to him, and that was actually him and that. I don't know. I I didn't find. I felt like they could have done it better. At the same time, I didn't. I didn't think it was bad what they did, but I felt like it could have been done better in that. And I'm well aware that most people gave it positive ratings in that. And I do think there was so much great about the film in that. I'm just. I'm just. Uh, I don't know. I I just want to be like genuine and not just just state the positive things in that. I prefer to say positive things, and I I like to focus on them in that. But yeah, and I don't know. Just I didn't really find it nearly as as funny it was it, i know it was, it, was, it was extremely different it was totally different to or to either to inside out to frozen and to zootopia they're all totally different in that like and that's why i feel like it's just sort of me that i don't sort of connect with that sort of sort of pair you know rick ralph and the sorry I'm, I'm hopeless with names the yeah um the his friend in that i yeah, I just, I, I don't know, I don't know, I just, and I didn't find it as humorous, and I didn't find it as convincing as sort of like a, I don't know, I don't know, I just, I don't know what it was, but it just didn't sort of, but that's why I think it's just me, because I mean, they're so different in their ways, and some people would find that one a far more convincing, enjoyable story than like Frozen or like Zootopia, whereas I'm like, ah, like I love Zootopia, like the connection there or whatnot, so I think it's more that, it's almost a personality thing, rather than that that's done in a bad way, but yeah, overall I thought it was a great film, I thought it was, uh, yeah, it was really well made, graphics, absolutely stunning, super detailed, that, honestly, that, the portrayal of the internet, and just all the detail of the characters, and the, you know, the Google logo, and it was just, that it, it was so, so cool, I absolutely loved that, the, you know, and then, yeah, so, yeah, I'm just trying to think, if, if there's any more, I, I, I sort of want to really add, you know, the search bar thing, that was clever, the, yeah, I don't know. I think I think I'll just sort of stop it there. I don't really, I don't know. I don't really have that much more to say. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's partly you know because I don't know because Ralph was just doing silly things which sort of made the problems. I don't know. And then it's sort of like I don't know. It's almost as if like to me. It, like, invalidates the plot in the sense that, like, it's so blatantly obvious that the character has just ruined it sort of thing, you know, and and, and then you, it's just, like, they're just trying to sp spend the rest of the movie fixing up, like, a clearly preventable mistake. I don't know, it's like, why do you keep messing it up? I don't know, it's like, well, of course, you want a movie, you need a movie of that. But, yeah, I still think there was, there was a whole, there's a lot of cool stuff in... Rick and Ralph too, you know, there was, I, I just, I just, even just for the, the, yeah, portrayal of the internet, I thought that was so cool, you know, and the other things I mentioned in that, so, yeah, yeah, I would, uh, yeah, yeah, that's Rick and Ralph, uh, yeah, that's just totally my opinion, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like I should have been more positive about it, because I still enjoyed the movie in that, I just didn't resonate with it nearly as much as the other ones in that, but yeah, anyway, 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 that is my review of of Rick at Ralph to Ralph Breaks the Internet. Oh, and no, I saw the trailer, the Rick Roll trailer on YouTube. I, but that wasn't in the movie, though. But I saw it in the, the on YouTube and that. It was absolutely hilarious. I, I loved that. That was awesome. So anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. And yeah. Yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments. Or you, you can or you can't. Up to you. And via the chat in the premiere. So that's going to wrap it up. Have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.